Good morning, Gear City Church. We are excited that you guys are here with us. This is our online only experience. We hope that you will join with your family in front of the TV or your device and take a few minutes to worship. And then after that, we hope that you guys are gonna spend the weekend celebrating the 4th of July together with your family and friends. Let's worship. for you. He is for you. He is for you. 
Father God, we are so grateful today that we can celebrate our independence and our freedom, God. We pray that as we move through this weekend, God, we are celebrating with our family and friends and we are taking advantage of the fact that we are so blessed because you are our creator and you are our friend. We love you, we praise your name, and we thank you, God. Amen. There is no doubt that God's favor is on every single one of us. You know, no matter where you are this weekend, God's favor is on you. We love that you've chose to join us today as the uh, holiday weekend is happening and now your family's here with us. And, and we just want to take a moment uh, to just encourage you to have a great weekend with your family over the holiday and uh, know that God's favor is on you. We want to remind you of some things that's coming up at Gear City Church that you don't want to forget that's coming up real quickly. And that is this, is that we have our Serve Day happening as we partner with other churches around America. It's going to be happening on Saturday, July the 15th. And this Serve Day will happen on our church parking lot. Everything's going to be free for people in our community. We're going to have free haircuts. We're going to have free ice cream, we're going to have free car washes and a water slide for kids. We want to be sure that you sign up to help us serve our community. And this serve event is for the entire family. So sign your kids up. You can go to GearCityChurch.com and do that on July the 15th from 9 a.m. until noon, our serve day. Also, that very same weekend, the next day on Sunday, is for Gear City family, and it's our summer celebration we love to celebrate summer. We love to celebrate the goodness of God and what He's done for us here at Gear City Church. So all of our Gear City family, on July the 16th, on that Sunday, it'll be at 1045 only that day. And it's all going to be outdoors on our par parking lot. So you want to bring a lawn chair. So be sure that you do that. We'll have tents set up that you can sit under. And we're going to have food trucks here that day. And we're going to invite you to join us for lunch that day. Support our local community food trucks that will be here by buying your family's lunch that day. From 1045 until noon, we're just going to hang out together. Water slide will be here. We're going to have ice cream that's here that day as well. So don't miss that day. One of the greatest parts of that day that I absolutely love is it's going to be baptism. All of this is happening outdoors. We're going to have baptism outdoors. We already have 15 people signed up for baptism. And if you have not signed up for baptism and you want to be baptized, you need to be sure to go online and get signed up immediately. This will be the last week you get to sign up. So be sure and do that. Get signed up for baptism on July the 16th. We love the fact that you're part of Gear City. And for everybody that partners with us at Gear City, uh, even though we're online today, you have an opportunity to still give at Gear City Church. The best way to do that is through text to give. And you can simply text the number 84. Three, two, one, and you can text to give, or you also can go online at GearCityChurch.com, and we want to say thank you for partnering with us to do that. As we shared with you, this is an online experience today, and you, wherever you are, whether you're, you're at home, whether you're on the beach, whether you're, you're at a barbecue, whatever you're doing, you've chose to join us, and we're so thankful that you did. Today, I want to just take a moment to just talk about, you know, this holiday weekend. As we talk about and think about really what the holiday is, it's a, it's a celebration of America. We all know the story, America, 1776. We know that what July 4th represents. And what it represents for America is simply the word freedom. There's a lot of things that we can talk about with America, and we can talk about, you know, the freedom that we have here, the freedoms that we experience that maybe a lot of other countries might not experience. We're proud maybe to be that American. We've heard that song before. But you know, the freedom I want to talk about today is not just the freedoms that we have in America, but it's the freedom to worship a living God. When we have the freedom of religion, the freedom of, uh, of being able to worship as the way we do and the song we just sang together, we have an awesome um, uh, country to live in that we can do that. Not everywhere around the world do people have the same freedom to worship God as you and I are worshiping, even on live stream right now. To be able to gather together and worship, we have the freedom to express how much we love God in public. And I love that we have that freedom. 
But the freedom I really want to remind you of today is simply this. In all of our celebration, in all of our, our being proud Americans and talking about the 4th of July and it's Independence Day and 1776 where it all happened, the freedom I want to talk to you about today is the freedom that comes in Jesus Christ. John chapter 8 and verse 36 says this, If the Son sets you free, then you are truly free. You know, there's a lot of people that we're going to be surrounded by today, people that we're going to, we're going to be in community with over Fourth of July celebrations. We're going to have barbecues, and you're going to be at the lake, or you're going to be tossing bags at cornhole, whatever it is your family's doing to celebrate Independence Day of America, celebrating the Fourth of July. If you're at the local community carnival that's happening, or wherever you are, there are going to be people around you that have not experienced true freedom. That true freedom that I'm talking about today is the freedom that comes in a relationship with Jesus Christ. If He sets you free, you're truly free. And I want to encourage you in this as you go throughout your celebration, as you have time with family, with friends, we're all going to be surrounded at some point in time or another by other people who have not experienced the same freedom as you and I have experienced. Today, we know that that gift of freedom is truly free. We know that it's a gift that was given when God gave His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. John chapter 3, verse 16 tells us that. That we have this freedom, but we're going to be surrounded by people who know nothing about this freedom. They might have heard of it. They might have know that, that you're a believer, that you follow Jesus, but they've personally not experienced it. So I want to encourage you in this, in all of your celebrations, your times of family, your time with friends, the time that you're, you're grilling burgers, you're throwing down some hot dogs, you're making s'mores, you're out on the lake, whatever it is you're doing, remember that we have an opportunity this weekend to show people what true freedom is. Yes, the freedom of America, and you're going to wear the, you're going to wear the Independence Day hat, you're going to have on the shirt that says I'm an American, whatever it is. They're going to have all the celebration, but remember this, the freedom that people really need, the freedom that gets them out of this world into an eternity in heaven is the freedom that you have already experienced in Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you in this while you're with your family, while you're at the barbecue, while you're celebrating on this beautiful weekend, let the light of Jesus shine in you. Let the freedom that you've experienced in Jesus be seen by how you live your life, by the choices that you make this weekend, by the things that you say, and even the opportunity where people might talk about, man, it's great to be an American. It's great to be living in a country that has freedom. It's our opportunity to say, yes, and the freedom I've experienced in Jesus changes not only this world, but my eternity. Live that out before people. And remember this scripture. It's really simple. It's really easy. John chapter 8 says this, if the Son sets you free, then you are truly free. I pray this for you this weekend, that you have an amazing time with your family and friends, and that the freedom that you experience this weekend celebrating America, you think about all of the foundational fathers that signed the Declaration of Independence, you think about the, the reasons that we get to celebrate the freedom the military that that has guarded us and protected us and served us so well, that we have this freedom in America. But remember, there's one person that gives freedom to our soul. His name is Jesus Christ. And because of what Jesus done on the cross, no matter who we are, no matter who somebody is that you know that might be the furthest person from God, that has the worst reputation, they can experience the same freedom in Jesus. And you and I are that light and we are that salt to them today. We are the example to show them what true freedom is. So today I want to pray for you. And as I pray, I pray this, that God will let you show truly the light of Jesus, which is the freedom that every person in this world needs. Today, I want to pray for you as you celebrate with your family and friends. And you look for the opportunity to share about your freedom in Jesus 
And maybe that's through a prayer that they ask you to pray over the meal. You talk about that freedom. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you for your amazing love. We thank you for this amazing country that we get to live in here in America. We thank you, Lord, because we have the opportunity to celebrate Jesus. We have the opportunity to express our freedom of religion. We're thankful for our founding fathers. And on this holiday weekend, as we celebrate Independence Day here in America, Lord, may we be reminded of the freedom that I have, the freedom from sin, the freedom, Lord, to be able to love you, and the freedom that sets me free to live eternity in heaven. So, Lord, I pray for every person that has joined us online today that we would, each one of us, look for the opportunity to share about that freedom by the words that we choose, by the actions that we have at our celebrations and our holiday fun. I pray, Lord, help us to be intentional to recognize that there's somebody around us that needs freedom in Jesus and that we can be that example to them today. Father, we thank you for it and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're so excited you chose to join us today for the 4th of July celebration weekend online. We hope that you have an amazing celebration with family and friends, and we look forward to seeing you next week.